All right, so what we're going to focus on is why it is exactly that when you simplify ratios that involve measurements, you need to get those measurements in the same units. Um, so a ratio, again, is just a comparison between num two numbers, you know, three to two. That's a ratio. It's comparing three to two. Um, and then you can have ratios with measurements in them. So for example, here's kind of a silly example. Pretend like you have a garden that's 12 miles long, um, and I have a garden that's 36 feet long. Uh, so if we were to write a ratio of the size of your garden to mine, it would be like that, 12 miles to 36 feet. Uh, let's, let's rewrite this as a fraction, though. 12, the ratio of the length of your garden to mine is 12 miles to 36 feet. So these are measurements. Um, specifically measurements of length and they're in different units. Um, I'm measuring your garden in miles and mine in feet. Those are two different units. So, um, Okay, so say, say I wanted to simplify this ratio. Why? Because it's easier to deal with um, simple ratios. Uh, maybe I want to write an equation that involves this ratio, so I want to turn it into a decimal uh, or at least just something that's just numbers, right? I want to simplify it. Maybe the teacher just told me simplify this ratio, and I have to. Okay, so there's all kinds of reasons why you'd want to simplify a ratio, um, and there's lots of ratios you'll come across with with measurements um, of different units in them. So say say like I wanted to simplify this. Well, just looking at the numbers, I could notice that 12 is a factor of 36. So actually. So to make this plain, I could I could rewrite the top as 1 times 12 miles, and that seems kind of silly, but you'll see this will make sense in a second. 12 miles is the same as 1 times 12 miles, right? Okay. Um, I could write the bottom as um, 3 times 12 feet. 3 times 12 is 36, so I could rewrite 36 as 3 times 12. That looks like a minus sign. It's a multiplication. Right? Okay, so 12 over 12 is just 1. So these factors cancel out. So I could I could say that 12 miles over 36 feet would be 1 mile uh, over 3 feet. Well, okay, that's true. Um, that is a ratio that, dis that compares the lengths of our of our gardens, but it's very misleading. Uh, this, so this ratio of, of your garden to mine, does that mean that your garden is one third the size of mine? No way. You know, that's that's totally misleading. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that in red. Red. Don't. No. It's not. It's not one third the size of mine, because miles are are huge compared to feet. Right, so your your garden is way bigger than mine, but this ratio doesn't really convey that very well. It's it's misleading. So what what we need to do is, um, sorry, we need to we need to use the same units, and then we can get a truly simplified ratio. So let's convert either the feet to miles or miles to feet. Uh, I think it's gonna be easier to convert the miles um, to um, to feet. So if we've got, so let's um, that's fine. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really easy because here's the conversion factor. In fact, let's go back to a nice color. Okay, uh, here we go. Here's a conversion factor. I just looked that up. If you don't know these conversion factors, just look them up. They'll be in your textbook, maybe the front cover, or back cover. Um, Maybe it'll be on the interwebs or whatever. So just look it up. So one mile is equivalent to 5,280 feet for weird historical reasons. Um, and let's convert this mile to feet. So one mile, one mile's, um, so this is simple, just one mile. So 528 feet to three feet. I just converted this one mile. Now, if we if you started back at the beginning, before you simplify the number part of this, 
what you could do is you can multiply this 12, 12 miles um, times 5,280 feet. If there's if there's 5,280 feet for every mile, if you got 12 miles, just take that 5,280, multiply by 12, right? Okay, but could be simpler to, to reduce the numbers first and then and then convert. So here's here's our our ratio with the same with the same unit. A lot different, right? This is the ratio of the length of your garden to mine, 5,280 feet versus three feet. So that gives a much different picture. It's you know we're not trying to say that your garden is one third the size of mine. It's actually um, we could we could turn this into a decimal now. Feet and feet cancel out. Five two eighty divided by three. Let's do that. Five thousand two hundred eighty divided by three is uh, one thousand seven hundred sixty. So what this means is your garden is one thousand seven hundred sixty um, times bigger than mine, or the length the length of your garden is one thousand seven hundred sixty um, times bigger than the length of my garden. So by converting to the same units, we get an accurate picture here, and then um, we can really simplify it to its to its most simple form. Um, um, this this is simplified all the way. Units are gone. Now this is a number I can deal with. I could use this in an equation. Um, I could say your garden equals uh, my garden times. Oops. Let me just say call it M. M stands for the length of my garden. Y stands for the length of your garden. Is so yours is uh, 1,760 times mine. So I could use that in an equation now. This is a real number. Um, it's not, you know, we could not use this in an equation. That's, with different units like that, that's not going to fly. So, to simplify ratios with measurements, get them in the same units, and then you can simplify them.